WA police are about to get new powers in a terror crackdown prompted by the Sydney siege. The changes make it easier to lock up citizens suspected of plotting an attack and hold them for up to two weeks. Up to 14 days inside the Perth Watch House without charge. A change to WA's terror laws will make it easier for police to lock up suspects without even knowing their names. Whilst I have no specific intelligence that a terrorist attack will occur in WA, we can't believe that we're not immune from the threat of terrorism in WA. The lint siege in Sydney's Martin Place triggered terror laws across the country. These laws already exist here, but the changes will allow police to act on less intelligence, bringing us into line with New South Wales. Most people would understand it'd be used sparingly, but in a case where you have something like Christchurch, you want to deal with the offender before it occurs. But some fear the proposed amendments go too far. What they're trying to do here is to broaden that so that anyone capable of carrying out a terrorist act can be detained. Uh, that is far too broad. It seems to me that anyone who owns a car or a set of kitchen knives could be detained under that. In Sydney, Arzalan Kawaja, the brother of Aussie cricketer Usman, is accused of framing a co-worker with a terrorist hit list. Mohammed Nizamdeen was detained for a month and released without charge. The Law Society of WA says the changes are balanced because police officers would still need to convince a judge before making their arrest. WA police were last year given the right to shoot to kill during a terrorist situation. Now they're looking for someone to build them a new bomb robot. A tender is out to deliver a new machine to disarm explosives. We think we're well prepared to deal with the terrorist attack if it should happen in WA. Michael Genovese, Nine News.